In this lesson, I want to explain uh, the this tool, this tab here, print layout. If you go into the print layout, as you can see, uh, it's uh, this. We are going to the this and tab, and you can uh, adjust your pattern to the fabric roll. These are fabric roll. If you go into the uh, shops and you can see the fabric low, uh, roll lengths and the the height is not very important uh, yeah you can define it as you can see uh, if you click any pattern here in settings we have a role uh, we have a role in inches but but you can go to the custom and in a millimeter or centimeter you can define your role in for example centimeter and a millimeter any any role that you want in size in your country okay and uh, you have to uh, adjust the pattern in the uh, width the most important thing in a role is the width the height is not important and you can define it as you can see or or it's very simple we have a tool here nesting auto nesting click it click it auto nesting and as you can see it's nesting it's for you you can click and drag it bring it here and then auto nesting again and it does the perfect job for you here you can stop it we have a nest sitting here that you want uh but it's it's very easy it's nesting for you to uh minimum length of the minimum height of the fabric roll in the next settings here you have have information if you want to uh, have a color very they're not important they do it for automatic you don't change the settings uh, here you can reset the default arrangement again if, if you want but as i said before here we have a snapshot you can refer to the uh, previous lesson and here you can click and sometimes i think manual arrangement is better of nesting but the unit is important it's in a millimeter if you are going to the nesting and then a snapshot and it's ready to a snapshot for you. Uh, here, as I said before, go to the custom or you can one by one. It's very important. If you want to, if you go to the file a snapshot, uh, like a previous lesson, it's do it automatically for you. But it's very important here. If you want to export exact lengths to the software, to the real world, it's if you want to print your uh, pattern and give to your students in A4 uh, paper, you can do it. The size is not important. But if you want to export it in the real world for swing <clears throat> industry, it's important. Change it to the one by one. It is important. One by one. Portrait, landscape, I think it's better. <clears throat> and it's the width and height is not important unit is important change it to the millimeter uh dpi ppi or <clears throat> pixel per inches for resolution make it the high number if you want to export it in a printer or plotter as i said before you can refer to the previous lesson and uh, change the settings and after that save it okay and after that save it and it gives you exact length of uh, this file. But I suggest you do not use print layout. It's not useful. Go and go to file, snapshot, as you can see, 2D pattern one by one. It's off because you have to be in a simulation mode. It's a better way. It's doing everything correct and automatically for you. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, 
and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.